뭐 힘들죠? 뭐 힘들죠? Well, hello everyone. I'm doing well. My name is JM. The Bob Ross of Photoshop is what they call me. They don't call me that, but maybe they should because Photoshop is so much fun. I got to tell you. And today we're going to be learning how to make a beautiful, nice little animated face cam. Of course, this is a little paid face cam. Maybe I'll have some free face cams later, but maybe for some like some full stream packages. I don't know. But right now we're actually going to make this in Photoshop and then animate it in After Effects when we're done. But pretty much right now. Now, you just have to make a nice little rectangle right here and to be honest a lot of this is it's pretty self-explanatory you're just getting the polygonal lasso tool making some shapes or getting just like some nice boxes there adding some nice gradients some nice glow I might just do a full speed art of this because it's pretty self-explanatory and then after that you can pop in the name if you want but when I sell it when I have it at my store it's pretty much there's no name you just pop in your own super easy but you can see right here I'm just making some shapes duplicating them and then adding a gradient to all of them As you can see right there, I added my gradient right there in a nice little inner glow, very small, you can't even notice it. But then right here, I'm taking my rectangular marquee tool, um, painting it yellow, and then control J to duplicate it, transform, flip horizontal, and then you will have a wonderful, nice little plus right there. I'm going to select both of those, convert to smart object, rasterize it, just to make a nice little plus. Of course, you can make this any way you want, but this is just the way I'm doing it. And then right there, I'm going to add a nice little gradient to it, and then back on to more stuff. All right, and then right here, I'm just experimenting with a nice little gradient, adding a nice little kind of sharp stroke on the outside of my nice little face cam right there. And of course, you can just do whatever colors you want. And I did switch it to like a nice purple and blue at the end because I like those colors and those are my colors. And yeah, right now we're just going with this for now. And right here, I'm just using the marquee tool again, just selecting where I want and then painting it in with a hard brush just to get some nice even shapes so I can make them really nice and precise and not have to drag them or anything. And just that's how I'm going to do it for that. And as you can see, I used the polygonal lasso tool for the top and all these are pretty self-explanatory. You're just making shapes, popping them in, putting them wherever you want. And then after that, we'll go into After Effects pretty easy.
as you can see right here, I'm just adding some more stuff right here, color correcting everything, adding some nice little, I guess you could call them just like inner shapes that sort of are kind of embossing or bezeling, whatever you want to call it. And then also, you can see right there, I added the two blue things on the side. It's a nice gradients and the plus I moved and then the gradient um, dots I also moved. And I'm just going to mess around with this till I find something that I like, of course. Alright, and then right here you can see I use the polygonal lasso tool just to make some nice vertical shapes and then cut some spots out of them and then make a nice little clipping mask to just paint over it a little bit just to get it how I want. Then after that I'll color correct and go into After Effects. Boom, we have a hand cam. I know no one does a hand cam for a graphic design, but I kind of like it, you know? Let me know what you think, but like, just like a nice hand cam. I feel like it just adds a little, a little nice ambiance to it. You can kind of see what I'm doing and just, I don't know, it's just kind of nice. We'll see if people hate it or not. We'll see what the comments say, but yeah. Right here, I'm just adding a nice hue and saturation mask. I'm just messing with the master, going over to the pinks, the, the magentas and all that, just to get it to whatever I like with in terms of color. Of course, you could change this however you want because I have it all blue and purple at the end. You could just uh, make your own hue and saturation mask and just mess with the master and honestly get whatever color scheme you like. All right, and then right here, here we are in After Effects. All you have to do is just make a new project. Uh, honestly, any just HDTV 29.97 for the settings if you know After Effects. If not, uh, this is not a tutorial for you, but it's pretty simple on how to just make a nice little After Effects file. Um, of course, you could save yourself some time by just buying it off my, <laughs> off my store. I'm so sorry, but yeah. Hope you guys like the fan cam as well. It turns out that when you do speed arts with my RGB keyboard, it just kind of like bugs it looks crazy so i'll have to figure that out but yeah anyway as you can see right here i have an extension called saber it's the one that absolutely everyone uses especially for animated face cams right here you can see in the effects the effects and presets on the right side right there I just, I search up Saber after it's installed. Of course, if you don't want to install sketchy Saber on your computer, you could buy it again. But it's not super hard to install. It is free, but it is kind of, it is kind of sketchy to download, to be, to be honest. But yeah, once you have your Saber, pretty much, you'll see me do it right here. I just place it behind the face cam, and then I mess with the settings. I'll show you exactly what I do right now. Alright, and then when I got my Saber plugin, I just kind of dragged it in onto the black solid layer with the black solid selected. And then, as you can see, when I turn it on and off, it's a black solid, so it'll cover the whole thing. But pretty much what you want to do is you just want to go to toggle switches slash modes, and then that you'll figure out how to just hide the black background by messing with the uh what's it called the blending mode of course like you do in photoshop same thing here you're not gonna be able to do it like that as i'm doing you can't hide it or anything you'll just have to select it go to toggle blending modes and modes and then set it to screen or whatever works for you to be honest all right and then right here as you can see i set my blending mode to whatever works linear dodge screen whatever works best but of course this is after effects so it's a little bit different but as you can see saber right here you just search it up in the effects and presets you just drag it over to your black solid layer i'm just searching it up right there to show you it's right there and then you see you drag it right in you pull it all the way to the right of course you're gonna put the black solid behind the face cam um when you're done but yes you're right there 
and then I'm going to resize it and then mess with what presets I like for this. So I don't like how it looks like a lightsaber right now. While that is cool, it does kind of defeat the purpose of having an animated face cam. So I, I like to get one that's just a little more, you know, atmospheric or fiery or electric. You'll see I'll go with something electric at the end. But you can see the, um, the color right there, the blue uh, in the... You see it on the top left, the blue, I don't know what it's called, but pretty much you can click that blue and just change the saber to whatever color you like. Of course, if you don't like this purpley blue, you can change it to whatever colors. Say your um, face sway and you want something very purple, you'd make it all purple. See, this is blue, you'd want it more purple. Say your, um, who has a color scheme? Just like anyone else with a different color scheme, you can just mess with it, you know what I mean? And then right here, as you can see, that's how you do it. And right there, I went with a nice little purple or like whatever color want, like works for you. And then for the preset, you'll see it'll change the color every time. But you can select any preset you want with this. Of course, I have it already saved as a QuickTime file, an AVI file uh, for OBS. Of course, you can just pop it in. It's super easy. But as you can see, you can just mess with it, whatever you like. You can do ghost. You can see which one I went with for the end. And then after that, I just duplicate it, put it on the other side. And then I also use Saber for some other little glowing effects for the bottom. All right, and then right here, as you can see right here, I did make a nice little selection right here for a new black solid. Of course, you can do this all in one black solid. It's pretty easy. You just have your black solid selected with your blending mode on screen, search Saber and the effects and presets, and then just drag it over again. Super easy, but with this one, I am going to make it horizontal as opposed to vertical with the other ones, and I'm gonna size it really small. I do have this weird preset on it right now. I'm gonna switch it, and then the color will just be a nice little blue or purple, whatever works best because that is the theme of course this is the one i did select here for a moment it is ghost i do like it and then i duplicated this one by just hitting Control d dragging it to the bottom and then just making it bigger like you would in photoshop or just if you're familiar with after effects that's how you do it there as well All right, I hope you're ready. It's time to export. This is really exciting. Of course, make sure all of your black solids have a nice little um, blending mode on it to make sure they're not poopy and showing just like black, of course, because this we are going to duplicate or get rid of the black in the end. But there are some things you have to uh, hit. You'll see I'm going to hit it right here. There's like a checkerboard you have to hit and then there are more settings. We'll get to those. But then you'll just go to file, export, and then you'll export it as whatever file you want. But right here, as you can see right there, I'm hitting that, which will make the background clear. But as you can see, it is not clear. All of the black solids are still showing. So there is some Something you have to do in order to get the black solids to disappear it's super easy you just select your black solid right here and then right there you'll see what i'll do and then i'll just click it it's right there you go to transparent it's it's easy it's super easy all you have to do is do it really quickly then you'll do that for every single one it'll take like two seconds and then you're ready to export by just hitting file and then export add to the uh, export queue Add to render queue, file add to render queue, not export queue. Uh, but with this right here, you can see all the settings I'm doing. Just copy down every single setting that I choose. It's not super challenging. And then you'll have a wonderful, nice little rendered um, face cam. And make sure you are saving it to wherever you want it to be saved. As you can see, I'm going to show you how to select wherever you want. Right there, my mouse is over it. If you just go down and click that blue, that's just your output path. To wherever you're saving it as then you hit render it'll take maybe a couple minutes depending on how powerful your computer is of course if your computer is like a minecraft machine and that's like all you can play or something and it's not like 
and you can't run like say modern warfare or anything it might crash it might not be great for rendering especially with these plugins that are animated i'm giving you a thumbs up Woo! oh god and then uh that's pretty much all you have to do and you're done i'll show you what it looks like in the end Woo! Oh my goodness, here it is, all done, all good to go. You pop in your logo, you pop in your name, and you have a nice little wonderful animated face cam. I hope you guys enjoy. Of course you will have to be fluent in Photoshop to follow this, of course, unless you just wanna uh, pick it up from my shop and then you'll just be, you'll save yourself probably a good hour, hour or two. And um, yeah, uh, that's 15 minutes and that's how you make a nice little face cam. If you do like this, I will of course do more. I will definitely be back with a full stream package, maybe for free uh, if these are popular. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll be back hopefully next Friday. Um, I did just get through midterm, so I haven't uploaded a little bit but i try to make videos every single friday i'll see you guys later hopefully you enjoy and yeah bye